love Lush. I go there way too much, spend way too much money there, so I decided I needed to recreate some of my favorite Lush products. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make the Rub 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 Shower Scrub, the Lip Scrub in Bubble Gum, and the Shower Jelly in Woosh. Those are three of my favorite Lush products, so I decided to recreate those ones. If you guys would like to see more DIY Lush things, definitely let me know down below, and let me know by giving this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you are new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you like what you see in this video. But I think that is about it, so let's just get started. Alright guys, so for the first DIY, we are going to be doing a DIY Lush Rub 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 Shower Scrub. I absolutely love this shower scrub, it is the bomb. So to start off, you're going to start by adding salt, and you're going to do 5 tablespoons of salt. After that, you're going to be adding 1 tablespoon of either olive oil or coconut oil, whichever one you have. I just had olive oil. Then you're going to go ahead and stir that up, and this is what your mixture should look something like. Then you're going to be adding half of a lemon. You're just going to squeeze that in and make sure that there are no like seeds or anything like that. Then once again, stir that on up. After that, you're going to be adding half a tablespoon of body wash. You can adjust this depending on how soapy you want yours to be. But then after that, this is optional. You can add flavoring in. I just put peppermint in because I personally really like peppermint. I like the scent of it. Then go ahead and add some food coloring to make it that actual rub, rub, rub color. So I added one little drop of the blue food coloring. Make sure you don't add too much because you don't want to stain your skin. And that is the final result. I just poured it into this little container and if you want it to be more like scrubby, you can add more salt or if you want less scrubbiness, you can add less salt. But yeah, that is it. Moving on to the next one, we are doing the DIY Lush Bubblegum Lip Scrub. I, once again, am obsessed with this. I'm just obsessed with all Lush products. For this one, all you guys are going to need is, once again, some salt. And you're going to start by just putting like three tablespoons-ish of salt. That's what I did. Then you're going to be adding olive oil. I did half a teaspoon of olive, olive oil. <laughs> then you're going to be adding food coloring. Since I was doing the bubblegum one, I added pink. But I didn't have any bubblegum flavoring or whatever, so just skip that step. If you do have it, definitely add it. But then just pour it into a little container and you are good to go. The last DIY that I'm going to be showing you guys today is for the Woosh Shower Jelly. I think that's how you pronounce it. All you guys are going to do is start off by adding one packet of unflavored gelatin. And then you're going to be adding three-fourths cup of boiling water and stirring that until it is completely absorbed or like dissolves, whatever. Then you're going to be adding one half cup of shower gel or body wash. It can be whatever kind you'd like. Then go ahead and add food coloring. I chose blue since Woosh is blue. Then you're going to go ahead and stir that all up. Since you use gelatin, you are going to need to put this in the fridge for however long your packet says, but then you are good to go. Also, I do recommend that you keep this in the refrigerator because it is a jello gelatin kind of thing. <laughs> product video and as I said at the beginning if you did please be sure to give it a big thumbs up also if you're new to my channel be sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you'll be notified when I make new ones also if you didn't see my previous video me and a bunch of my friends are doing a huge collab giveaway for the new year so I'll have that video linked down below and also somewhere on the side I don't know what side it's on but be sure to go check that out and enter if you haven't already there is a YouTube portion a Instagram portion and a Twitter portion so all that is explained in the video that is linked somewhere on one of these sides and down below in the description so definitely go check that out if you have not already and I think that is about it so I'll see you all in my next video bye guys